Dying Light is a game full of iconic characters and we have talked about some of them in the past like the sentient volatiles This is a poison What the hell are you? Kyle Crane, Brecken and just like that today we're going to talk about the twin brothers from Dying Light Well first of all they were the only people at that time that successfully escaped Haran and made it to the other side which is the city of Villador And finally after 8 years Teclan is bringing back the twin brothers in Dying Light 2 But that my friends also raises a lot of questions And that's why in this video we're going to find answers for that and to do that we'll have to go back 23 years in the past which is when all this began the twin brothers, also known as Tolga and Fatin, were engineers employed by Volkan Yassif Dal, the wealthiest man in Haran. Volkan Dal, he's the richest man in Haran. Volkan was the guy who at that time were quarantined inside a high security government facility but Volkan wanted to find a way outside the city. And just for that, he instructed the twin brothers to find a way out of the city and that's why the twin brothers came up with the idea of building a submarine which they intended to launch out of the city. Now to build the submarine, the twin brothers needed resources and getting resources in that kind of situation was not easy. So the only person that could help them with that was actually Carl Crane. So Volkan decided to send a messenger to contact Carl Crane at the tower instructing him to meet the twin brothers. That's when Carl Crane finally meets the brother while they were living out of the van in Jafar's wheel station. Later the twin brothers asked Carl Crane to retrieve a number of necessary items for the project they've been working on. And yes Carl Crane being the nice guy he is helped the twin brothers numerous times with the resources. He kept on helping the brothers until one day when he found the brothers near the fisherman's village. That's that's when Kyle Crane met Volkan and saw the project the twin brothers were working on and yes it was a submarine. So they decided to test the submarine and well this happened. Yeah it blew up. After this they also tried making a jetpack but actually failed. Now that was the last time Crane saw the twin brothers until the late 2014 when Crane went to the countryside. After hearing the rumors of a cure after there was not enough antigen left, Kyle Crane explores the countryside and comes across a crashed plane, which we later find out belongs to the twin brothers Tolga and Fatin. Yes, they had successfully escaped the city of Haran but with the recovered plane and not the submarine. You might be wondering what happened to their boss Volkan. Well, he also traveled with the twin brothers on the plane but the twin brothers and Volkan got separated as they were forced to abandon the plane. But later on, the twin brothers contacted Crane and asked him to locate Volkan. Little Kyle Crane finds out about the fate of Volkan. Volkan. Well, he basically got shot by Polet who said Volkan had a bite that was left untreated for too long. And like Volkan was trying to give love bite to people, so he was basically shot and killed in that process. It's probably Dahl, a billionaire. Killed because he had really nice shoes. Now, Tolga and Fatin wanted to find a way out of this place, so they again started asking Crane to bring him some resources, and this time they were planning something big. In fact, we even found them once inside a train doing some voodoo stuff. Not really, I'm just joking, it's a bug that still exists in the game. Anyways, later we saw them building a huge train to basically go through the wall and make their way on the other side. But things didn't go as planned because the train surely made it through the wall, but the fate of the brothers were unknown. The connection with the twin brothers were lost, and Crane thought that the brothers had lost their life that day. But later in the story, almost at the end of the game, Crane actually gets a mysterious call, which later turns out to be the twin brother's call. They were basically saying we made it to the other side and there's a big arena here. Guys, you're alive? Well, shit. Have fun on the other side. Now since then we had no clue about the twin brothers whereabouts but 22 years later in 2036 Aiden Caldwell arrived in the city of Villador. He was actually looking for his sister Mia. So while exploring we actually saw the missing poster of the brothers and one day Aiden comes across a random stranger named Liquidator who actually mentions Kyle Crane and talks about a B613 region. Kyle Crane. A, a friend of mine mentioned that name once. Who is he? You mean who was he? Kyle was a hero. He was going to save Haran. But sometimes, even the greatest heroes stumble and don't get up again. But the fact we're talking now, it's essentially thanks to him. Who are you exactly? Codename Liquidator. From the B613 region? I see. 
I'll be honest with you. This is quite an unusual meeting. Unusual? And it could be usual. It's time for me to go. After this, Aiden during his exploration comes across Church of St. Thomas where he brings back the electricity and checks a radio situated on the top of the church. And while investigating, you finally hear the voice of Tolga and Fatin calling for Liquidator. Also during the conversation, they make fun of Kyle Crane and again mention the same B613 region. They also mention a car they are working on and talked about making a leap so most likely they are traveling to a different place. Tolga, is it working? It is, it is. Be quiet, I'm transmitting. Liquidator, come in. Liquidator, come in. Give me that. You don't know how to do it. You have to hold the button while you speak. Back off. I'm holding it, aren't I? Do I look like that monkey, Kyle? I know how it works, Fatin. Liquidator, come in. And nothing. Ha! <laughs> Got to hold the button. Nah, 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 nah. Uh, liquidator, if you can hear us, we have remodeled the car according to your blueprint. <laughs> More like according to Dr. Emmett's blueprint. Whatever, Tolga. What's important is it seems to be working. We're ready to make the leap. We'll be waiting in the designated B613 region. See you there. Now according to my theory they must be referring to the DLC2 region as B613 region. But then again B613 region just could be a secret random name they came up with. And by the way here's a closer look at the brothers. If you notice the chess pin on Fatin then you will actually see it's the same train these brothers made together to escape the countryside. Now the other chess pin is currently unknown. It could be an organization they've been working with. But what's more interesting is that Tolga and Fatin are finally coming back to the city of Velador. We don't exactly know why but they sure are gonna bring some new weapons and blow prints with them. They are engineers and with the recent introduction of guns, it's quite possible that Tolga and Fatin would create this makeshift gun called Scorpio. Maybe they will introduce the guns in the game or maybe somehow we find out about the secret gun stash that is still hidden somewhere in the map till date. The good thing is they are finally coming back and now hopefully we can find out what happened to Kyle Crane after the end of the following DLC. But what really scares me is how old these guys look like they were younger than Crane so just imagine what Kyle Crane would look like. Now that my friends is everything we know about the twin brothers and now I want to know from you guys what are your theories on the return of Tolga and Fatin. If you enjoyed the video then make sure to leave a like and subscribe to my channel for more videos like these and I'm gonna see you guys in the next video till then stay safe and stay human.